Welcome back. We're here to do the joint connection for the Twin Flame Path. I have been chatting with the members and we are going to launch this into the members first and then into our In the Dark session on YouTube. So I will see you on the other side for that. Now let's get into the messages. Now, yes, we do have Mercury Direct, which is a bonus. Um, we did have a lot of changes that were coming up, especially within the membership, but especially within our own personal lives. Now, we're breaking this energy down. The resonance of the energy for this month is still angel number nine. And again, the context of nine is quite spiritual in nature. It's to do with our lessons. It's to do with that Jupiter energy, the growth within the path. Um, I definitely have been seeing the nines. Um, I've been seeing um, the ones and the zeros. And I do believe it is because we are setting off into a new chapter. Um, there can be some apprehension, especially with the transits in Virgo at the moment. So um, almost with that um, moon in Virgo, really having some ideal, uh, looking at quality assurance, looking at our health and our wellness um, and, and trying to get some balance back. So it can be really looking at our health, our diet, our emotions, our feelings, um, not being so hard on ourselves um, and being realistic. You know, sometimes um, in the path, it can be very difficult to be realistic, um, especially when there's a, a, the spiritual connection involved and such conundrums that do come up, especially relating to the karmic third party energies. Now, the number nine energy. Um, angel number is calling us into our spiritual energy. So this can be a time of really needing to rest and recover, even if our schedule does not permit it. Um, it can be our values, our belief systems. It's a little bit like when you do have a moment to go into that hermit mode um, and to do the reflection, especially if you have major decisions to make in your life and you have some major emotions um, that you've kind of retrograded back onto, really gain some more momentum and clarity. Um, it's your intuition and your instincts are going to guide you the best, but you do need to be rested in order to actually um, have that clarity. Um, sometimes we can be overtired, staying up very late, thinking about the path, but really not feeling um, completely in alignment with it. Now, also from the perspective of the nine, it is a critical phase in our path. Um, it can be a critical phase in relationships, in past tense situations and situation shifting. This is directly a timeline change relating to um, the twin flame path. And synchronistically, there are some stages that do happen, which, you know, I did make mention in the members um, on the tips to union is that a lot of times prior to union, we do have a karmic test. And this can, <laughs> I will go into it within the members. If you do want those tips and deeper comprehension of it, please feel free to come through and you can join us for that. Now, the ruin cast that we do have for this week, I have selected it and I'm going to go to the book and I'm going to read it. Um, last week, um, we were really mulling over different things. And I think now that Mercury is moving station direct, you know, we can have some momentum, we can have some um, spiritual findings, but at the same time, they're still within the shadow face. There can be this frustration. Um, a lot of you are going to need to recover. A lot of you are going to be cleaning up shop metaphorically. Um, so that still can hold its own um, tedious energy. And I do directly find, especially with the Venus retrograde and a Mercury retrograde, um, we do tend to find at um, its going forward stage is that we still can have those blasts from the past coming back. But it can be um, in a, a more surprising and... Um, fast-paced manner. So don't be surprised if you have had no communication, no contact, um, definitely even on the level of no gossip. Um, don't be surprised if you actually do get such um, during the next two weeks, especially with both planets now um, stationing direct. I'm just going to the book to find the ruin cast. Talk about being organised. That's Mercury fear. Glitches with technology, misunderstandings. Um, tummy wellness also is going to be pretty critical. So making sure that you're keeping your hydration up, making sure that you're practicing good PPE and, um, you know, caring for your wellness. If you do become run down, 
um, you know, generally speaking, they do say immune she can go down. So really caring for yourself where you possibly can. Um, also, anything to do with um, our mouth, our throat chakra, um, recovery. Also, if you were having um, things done, can take a little bit longer. Um, it can be going on the up and up now. Okay, so this ruin cast, it is in the upright. Now, we'll establish whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, but, you know, everything happens in cycles. So this links to raven and earth. Homeland and ancestry property. We did just have the moon in Virgo. Um, returning to one's roots, the hero's journey. Um, I definitely was seeing the zeros, and I do feel that is all to do with new beginnings. Um, it's almost like from May we've really had these huge upheavals and changes, and I, I would be highly surprised if you look back at May and said, hey, my life is exactly the same and my vibration and feeling is exactly the same as from that point in the year. Um, so we've gone through this massive shift. We had the nodes shift and we're about to have um, the eclipses coming up in October. So you're going to feel that resonance coming through and it definitely is going to be some tower moments for um, many of us, but it is on the positive. It is um, those necessary changes. So the eclipse is going to be happening in the previous nodal cycle and the most current nodal cycle so we're going to have we're going to have a combination of both that's going to be quite big closing out and opening up so it's our own identity um it's to do with our connections this ruin cast it's what binds us but it does not restrict us um definitely a venus retrograde energy Homeland, ancestry, property, family, home, inheritances, esotentric meaning, ancestral spirit, sacred enclosure, universal truth, in reverse, degeneration and ruthlessness. And that's something that we really want to avoid. And I think um, the one handy thing about the transits in Virgo is it makes us more cautious in making solar decisions. Okay, it reassures us that our birthright, that connects us not just to our family, clan, tribe or race or a whole as of humanity by extension to itself. This is true prosperity. It may suggest a degeneration of social patterns needs to change and evolve, but by identifying and honouring the fundamental truth um, in our traditions, um, it can create a more powerful cycle in tribe. Um, definitely, I have been saying, especially for those that are in communication with their twin, we have had a lot of subjects relating to family. Um, this especially can be to do with, you know, different cycles that we move through. Initially, we can look at a karmic cycle as a karmic partner. Um, it can be us in an instance when we have spiritual blockages. Um, it can then be friends, family, patterns, habits. So we really do go through those um, situations so that we can come back to that kind of vibration of who we are away from all of those dramas and realize that, you know, those situations don't have power over us. It's us that actually give power to those circumstances. At intervals in the journey, it definitely feels like it. But when both parties in the mix are integrated, it almost washes away because it's an impossibility to be. Now, the crowning energy, funny enough, whenever I say this, this card, it really does remind me of feminine. And I do feel there has been um, some sense of a karmic test. And I mentioned this previously, a lot of times it can look like a left or right. Um, that showdown also can be what you will and won't do. I'm looking at this feminine hair as somebody who has boundaries. Boundaries doesn't mean screaming, kicking, shouting. It means you know what you stand for. There are yeses and there are noes. And there is, you know, regardless of love, you can still love someone, but you definitely know what you can and can't do. And, and you know, really where your life is going, being very centered in that and knowing where your life is going regardless of um, the twin flame path. Um, but you, you're still in that loving energy. You're still um, you're still your divine feminine. Um, what I'm saying here is you are very much on this person's mind. Um, this is the joint connection section. So this is something that's really close in their mind. They do find you to be, um, at times I do feel they've overestimated you 
And this can be because you've shown yourself to be very um, masculine in nature, able to do things, able to handle handle your situations, doing your clearing and your healing. So at times they have actually looked at you as somebody that is um, really not needing anyone. Um, but this was really misinterpreted. Uh, they have seen the softer side. That's something they do need to see, be it it's vulnerable, be it it's angry, whatever that be, but the more human kind of side of the circumstance um, it's almost like sometimes we can look at this as the poker face energy. It's not that we really are doing it on purpose. Um, it's that we've had to in our lives. Um, we've had to be quite um, independent and resilient. I do feel they also know that you have standards. And because of this, they are extremely attracted to you in this. Now, they are looking back to the past and so are you. And this can be to do with your values and your belief systems. This also, again, with the number nine energy that was coming through, this can be to do with divorces and marriages, um, really big changes, especially with their belief systems inside of connections. Um, they're actually quite surprised at how similar your belief systems are. And they are starting to come through extremely spiritual and traditional in this instant. Um, but it's, it's quite almost like the philosopher's stone. That's the way I'm seeing it. Um, in the heart of it, they do want to be the masculine. They do want, um, we need to really know and decipher between when to be the feminine and when to pull the masculine out. Um, because this person here is really in the mix wanting to be the masculine. Um, you know, if you can directly give their power back in some shape or form, it's allowing them to make their masculine decisions on their side of the fence. Um, but knowing that they actually do have the tools that they actually can work these situations out. If there has been a conundrum that they've been dealing with, I do feel they're um, really going into the depth of it, but really trying to work these circumstances out. Um, some of you also, the sacral chakra has really been rising, and this can be where the chemistry and connection, um, you know, is really coming back quite fiery. Uh, I, I do feel, again, there is this desire to create balance and harmony, um, but there could have been some power struggles here, uh, especially if they have been in their hunter-gatherer mode within their own personal life, really trying to work out what to do. Um, maybe all work, no play made for a dull day, um, but they could also be going through transitions and changes um, and I do feel they're going to create the healthy boundaries with individuals. You may inadvertently be leading by example, and they could be actually seeing this and implementing it in their life. What do I see here? I do feel there can be some changes of plans, and um, th this could be in the way you both are tackling this, okay? Um, there could have been some circumstances that uh, kind of drew them backwards. This could have been because of family and tribe. Um, it could have been because of, of a worker-related dynamic or leaving a karmic cycle, but I'm definitely feeling um, that both parties here in the mix are really looking at things and saying, okay, how can I now um, look at this path and deal with it differently? There is this kind of feeling um, for some of you, I do believe, and we'll probably get deeper into it as we do look at divine feminine's energy. There is a potential here that you don't want to be without each other, um, but at the same time, there also could be some karmic closes that we spiritually are going through, I would say, on both sides of the fence. Um, and again, a karmic close does not have to be a romantic partner. Um, this could be a memory. It could be dealing with an ex. Uh yeah, um, it could be a lot of things, but there is a close going on, um, so to speak, spiritually. And I do feel it's really going to be amping up and wrapping up um, by October. I, I do feel, I'm hearing the term slow innings. Um, it's like slow and steady wins the race. For some of you, this has been going on for a while. Um, for some of you, you are directly having a new chapter. This can be communication. This could be um, movement and change and transformation happening within your journey. And each wave is really going through a new chapter. Um, there are certain zodiac signs that are going to get more movement. Um, but they're definitely, like I said, can be karmic closes. These karmic closes for divine feminine, going back to the crowning energy, at times, how that can look, where is she? At times it can be finally speaking up and saying your piece, okay, what you will and what you won't do. 
Um, sometimes this can include catching a person out. Sometimes it can include, um, it, it's almost like you're at a T-section in the road and sometimes it can be like that for a while. Um, there is a, uh, a point where to tip those scales, to, to get that movement going. Universe will create a situational ship and it is a spiritual test for divine feminine to pick left or right. Um, in that instant, the correct thing to pick, generally speaking, is how you're feeling at that point in time. Um, and it can be picking self. So there can be a bit of a showdown at a point in the journey. Um, and this is to shred away any doubt, um, to reach union with self, and then to be open directly to the connection. And I have seen that as a pattern over the years, especially with my coaching. Um, but definitely that message was coming up, um, especially with Venus retrograde, Venus moving direct. We are in this new chapter and it's what this new chapter is going to be. And, and try to have faith in yourself. It's it's there for a reason. Um, I do directly see through these cards in the joint connection is that there are offers here. Um, but Divine Feminine is wanting like firm, solid movement. But directly speaking, if it does go too fast, you may become quite anxious. It is asking you to use your wisdom. It is asking you to um, use your intuition when it does come to these things. If you are seeing a circumstance that needs addressing, really moving into it and addressing it. I do see here for Divine Feminine, they are really thinking about their romantic life, but this also can be the harmony within the connection. Um, a lot of you can be seeing glimmers of hope. This can be very, very big changes in attitude and never, what, what would the word be? Never judge yourself based on what your experience is and another twins. Um, it all has its own very unique cycle. There are commonalities that we spiritually will go through, um, but directly connected because you are in a joint energy. Um, it is always going to resolve itself and the things that are supposed to crop up are going to happen so that you can clear those energies. I do see this as the union energy. I do see this as a possibility of joining, but definitely brand new chapters. For some of you, you could have also been going through a stage where you've questioned, is this a TF? Um, are you with a karmic? Generally, you know, why we do that is because we find we are beating our heads against a wall. It doesn't mean to say that the person is not your TF. Um, all relationships can hurt us. All relationships can grow us. Um, generally speaking, you will know because this is a connection that does not break. Even when it has been um, the most grueling, you'll find that this um, does create a lot of healing, but definitely it's one of those connections you can't shake. Um, so for some of you, there could have been another person you were entertaining or healing from, um, especially in the path we do tend to find um, when divine masculine is in a connection, um, feminines are always looking over their shoulder saying, well, hey, you know, I've been sitting here, I've been holding space like the hermit card in Tarot. Um, where is my Omar Sharif? You know, if it's supposed to be that, you know, we are clearing this energy, then I'm single and that person's in a relationship. Why is it like that? And it's generally because divine feminine is healing either through the relationship with the masculine in the previous cycle or directly relating to an ex from the past. Once that is healed and you are feeling whole in your yin and yang, your masculine and feminine, you will get movement. Okay. So what am I saying here? Big chapters wrapping up, definitely from the past. Um, some of you really questioning what all this, you know, um, jargon was, what all this drama was over the last few months, where the direct movement is coming. I do directly see from the nodal cycles, we generally do have reconciliations. Um, for Gemini and Sagittarius, there was a bit of a delay, um, but definitely if you had um, delayed making major changes and you still haven't over the last three years, that's where your um, blockages really look at those areas that you haven't shifted because you are um, in that opening stage for those reconciliations. I do directly see huge changes with you guys. I definitely do see Aries and Libra as another group and Cancer and Capricorn quite largely, but there is a, a 
multitude of different placements we have in our charts with all of those zodiacs. So it really is opening up that portal. Um, you could be going into your heart space at this point in time, and there could be a little bit of ego and protection for Divine Feminine. Um, this heart chakra activation um, definitely could be really making you question, okay, do I go with my head? Do I go with my heart? And I think it's both. I think, you know, your heart does tell the truth. Um, your head is going to try to involve itself to protect you. So both of them do have um, your best interests at heart. But sometimes in listening to them, actually understanding um uh, we can't avoid pain. It's not to say we want to go in where angels fear to tread, but there is a healing here you do have happening in your heart chakra. And I do feel there's a reluctance for some of you. Um, you, For some of you, you can just feel you're really quite fed up of false starts. There is a reason for false starts. And there definitely is more power on your side of the fence unbeknownst to you that you do directly have you know a lot of times we can have rejection as the universe's protection and I do see this as a positive thing um, not a negative thing some of you are wanting to investigate further and this isn't all of you okay there is a pocket group of you that do feel you need to follow your instincts and check out what is going on, especially if mixed signals have really come up most recently and the communication has been choppy for those of you in communication, but there definitely is passion and chemistry here. Um, chemistry like no other. Some of you are worried. Okay. There is pocket groups that, they are aware that masculine is going through a separation and a divorce. Um, some maybe are more concerned about the mundane and the finances. And again, we'll go back to what I'm seeing here. There's a karmic test here. And I do feel it's to do with divine feminine, especially within this connection. I'm realizing what you want and in order to get what you want, how you need to relate to this, how you need to deal with this in a very tactical way. Um, because I do directly believe, especially um, from these cards, you know, you know what you know in your heart you know the cycles that hasn't been wrapped up as yet it's wrapping up but in order to put it to the past there's some fair base frequency so you're going into your heart space and you're like okay is there something i need to say is there something i need to do um do i lose my cool um you know how do i go about addressing this um how will it be if we do actually open up and communicate with each other with these subjects there is a situation here potentially that you are physically aware of. Um, this could be to do with a, again, I can't advise you legally, but this is the card of, you know, um, this could be a divorce. It could be a physical contract. It could be going to court. There's something major um, that your twin is going through. It could be on your side, divine feminine, but for some reason, I'm really sort of like feeling this is to do with gossip and information that you're privy to um, in relationship to divine masculine. Um, this could really be causing some concerns. And again, like I said, karmic cycles don't always come in the shape or form of a romantic partner. So whatever this is, you could be thinking, oh my gosh, when is that? When are these hurdles going to be over? This is something directly you can handle. But the advice factor, especially from the joint connection is saying, remember who you are. There is a way to know what you want, to go for what you want, to express what you would do in your personal circumstance, but directly to allow this person here with their tools in their life to address it because it is showing that they it's part of their energy, it's part of their lesson for wrapping things up. You're going to have to be patient. This is what this week is asking. Patience, temperance. I do see tradition coming through. I do see you wanting to have, you know, more a traditional connection. Um, this is pushing you into that feminine energy so that you can allow this person to transition through. Um, I do get a letter coming through. I do get, this is either going to be with Mercury Direct. It does feel as though there's communication of some description. Um, some of you could be going over old emails, old text messages. Um, I'm also seeing that there could be a message that got stuck um, that could be coming through. Um, I do also see masculine 
um, sort of writing something and then deleting it, writing it and deleting it. But I do see this is coming through shortly and they're being extremely cautious. Now, masculine in the mix. Um, yeah, whenever I see the moon energy, I do see stagnation. Um, and I do think it's for a good reason. I don't think it's for um, they're trying to peep you off or they're trying to irritate you. This can be a drama that was happening around family, home. Um, and I also feel that um, they're pausing for a reason, but this pauses for a given reason. Okay. Now, I, I feel this pause. If there's stagnation, especially for those of you like, okay, this is really strange. Things were flowing. Things were moving. Why has it come to a standstill? This even for those of you with no communication can be the physical energy that you're tuning into psychically. And it can feel as though um, you're feeling that sensation that things are shifting. And then all of a sudden it's kind of paused. You're wondering what went down. You're wondering why it's come to this because it does feel quite strange. Yes. Okay, therefore some could have been... Now, I'm seeing two things. I'm seeing healing based on a family circumstances can be their mother and father, how their relationship went down. I do see a lot of them actually healing that dynamic and not allowing it to define them or put them off a relationship again. I also do see a previous relationship. This can be something that they're in at this point in time. Um, the history that they've shared with this person, I don't think this is making reference to, oh, my gosh, this is the love of my life. I feel it was more a painful chapter. Uh, and they they didn't really feel that they would be back to who they used to be ever again. Um, so there has been this eat, pray, repeat. Uh, they do feel that they're delaying the inevitable. It is moving to the past position. So I do think they're moving away from it. But it's something that did shake them. They did know that it wasn't going to work. Even if they have been holding on to a cycle, um, this can be like you burn your hand, don't touch the stove ever again, and, you know, you finally get hungry and you're like, look, I've got to cook a meal. I need to get a move on. There is trust. I want to pull a clarifier on here. They've got trust issues surrounding family. There is trust issues with these individuals. Whoever this karmic cycle is, be it it's them looking at their parents, um, you know, past energy, or it is a previous relationship, there's concerns um, of, you know, what, what had been lost. I think this is... This can be more the context of betrayals. It can be um, the money. It can be the BS that went with the karmic cycle. They do know that you're not like this, but there is this closing out of this that they're, they're going through at this point in time. Um, this could be a good time to actually do a clearing on the energy. You could do a guided meditation and you can tune into um your twin and clear the energy to lighten it um you could also give them a crystal um which can be tumbline or onyx to protect them and citrine this can really detox that um psychic attack energy because it does look like there's a bit of dark energy around them um which can be running them down making them feel quite uh what would the word be not motivated, not not inspired, not not open. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with you. I do think this is to do with the darker energy. Um, but this is something that they're moving through. And I feel this week it is actually shaking off. I think it's really been quite a tough week for a lot of us. Uh, spiritually, I do feel um, they do know this is mind matters. They do know that the reason this kind of blocked energy, this cursed energy was there, um, is 
because of this cycle. Now, I do also believe that if this is an old situation re-cropping up again, be it as a person, place or thing, they're really looking in at this and going, look, I've really learned my lesson. I'm not going through this again. It is making them feel quite anxious. This could be an ex. This could be a current relationship they're in. Whatever they're doing, though, they're really looking at it going, look, this is doomed to fail. Um, I'm not going back into this circumstance again because it's going to be an absolute mess um, and they can just see disaster written all over it. I do feel they're sticking up for themselves more than they used to. This person at times may use manipulation on them. Um, you may have seen this firsthand. This could be a concern that you have that they may um, fall for this trap. It's almost like they have dramas around them. But, yeah, this is a spiritual test for them. And I feel, if anything, they're thinking quite firmly on divine feminine. And, you know, it could even be some, um, you know, ways that you've directly dealt with it in the past that they've looked at and they've said, well, you know, divine feminine has addressed this in their own lives. Um, I too also can. And this stagnation, I really need to think things through. I really need to pause because I've had 99 problems coming at me when I've made so many sacrifices for things I never really wanted. These sacrifices I now want to make are the things I really do want. I want to turn my world around. I want it to be different. I do think that they are wanting life to be successful, but they've learned a great deal here um, to do with where the success has not come by mixing with certain individuals, how that directly impacts their life, that dreams do come true. And this person had really messed with them um, and their psyche. I do feel a lot of them have felt run down, um, trying to appease everyone, almost feeling like they're a dartboard. But I see them really shaking this off and sticking up for themselves. And it is coming to, I keep hearing the term crescendo, uh, but it feels like it's a, a, a grand final showdown. We do have the prison card as the outcome in reverse. And it's like this person's no longer um, getting stuck in their heads. Okay. Regardless of this, I'm going to pull three cards for the connection because I feel, if anything, they're ever so peeved off at the moment and it is to do with some external situations. Um, that's not to say, uh, you know, if this person is relating to the circumstance this way that you're supposed to enable or be fluffy and all the rest of it. No, that's really not what I'm seeing. I'm saying if this is something that has been going on maybe for five years and um, you know, it's almost that they're feeling guilty about it. It's okay to say, hey, you know, um, I don't know if that will work for me. Um, is it going to work for you? Uh, however that relates to your circumstance. I'm going to pull these up. I'm going to give them a shuffle and I'm going to pull three cards for the romantic connection because I feel they're making reference to this as the point of drama, but I definitely do feel that, <clears throat> there is something deeper to this and it's worrying them. It's making them feel as though it's going to take them away from the path with you. So we're going to get three cards. And I'll see what I say. Can't wait to see the twin flame masculine feminine karmic energy today. Yes, those of us that are in the members are well ahead. Okay, three cards, please, for the romantic feelings or anything we're supposed to know. Towards feminine, please. It's positive. Yeah, it is. They're saying they're handling it. They're saying don't stress. If you do need to say something, though, they are making reference to it, and this is my guides. If you need to say something, say it. If you're a bystander and you're observing and enabling, this, this keeps the stagnation going, and sometimes it's something as simple as saying, look, I can't do that. Um, that's not to say you don't love the person. 
but by saying that, then they can sit with their energy and tune into it and say, well, you know, what do I feel I want to do? Um, is it something I want to do? Because I do see from the three cards that are pulled, we have, yet again, the Ace of Wands, the Death card at the heart of the situation and the Lovers. So this is a change. I do, I do. The Death card, again, it's a rebirth. It's a new chapter, but it's a wrapping up of the cycle. It is in the upright. It's needing to end something in order to have the new beginning and going into the heart of it. They also do feel that it, they need to be powerful here. They need to use their power and to be protective and to fight for what they want um, because in their heart of hearts they know that if this situation wasn't here with you, um, it kind of kills them inside. So overall, I do feel whatever conundrum they're going through, there is the depth of love for you and they definitely are working it out. But make sure to use your energy correctly, Divine Feminine. If you are dealing with a karmic cycle yourself, try to wrap that up and look at the deeper reason why this is coming up for you. And definitely if there are some circumstances in your life that you're looking at and you're avoiding and, and believing that you need to um, be traditional, you may need to take on uh, differing manners in handling this circumstance, but a lot of you can be getting gossip through. Love and light, I will see you next week and stick around for the joint connection each week as well as the masculine, feminine and karmic into the super chats in about 10.15. Thank <music> you.